were testing in Silverstone the first day I was testing it was uh, fantastic to be back on the car and uh, get the rust away and be able to to feel the real car compared to the simulator it's so important uh, to have some mileage in the car in the real car so that all the correlation work we do in the simulator is correct and precise we are in 2014 and this is a new specification new regulations uh, engine side recovery of the energy, but also in the car handling, power delivery. There's so many things that are different from when I, uh, you know, I used to race. So we are under a new Formula One, and therefore that's why it's so important to have this testing, these test days for any of the test drivers that belong to any Formula One team, especially the drivers like me that uh, we do a lot of simulator work. We've learned a lot. We've done a steady development program. We are still on this uh, steady development program and race by race we're just improving. We have to keep going, we never give up and also think about 2015. Hockenheim is a very complete track in the way you need everything in the car, you know, you need, uh, you need power, you need uh, balance front to rear, you need downforce because although it's short, there's all type of corners. You need on the first sector, for example, you will need a very strong front end for turn one Otherwise, if you have a bit of understeer there, you cannot put the power down and, and you lose a lot of exit speed. Then you need to put traction for turn two and, uh, and turn five, the, the hairpin. You need very good traction because out of these two corners, there's the, the two longest straights of the track. And then you just uh, need a lot of downforce for the last sector because the last sector is where uh, most corners are and uh, it's where, uh, where a good car um, aerodynamically and mechanically shows up. It's uh, not an easy track. But uh, one thing I'm, I'm clear is that we, we have the two best drivers out there, so we, I'm sure that uh, we will have the best, uh, one of the best lap time, uh, lap time progression or lap time rhythm during the race because I really, you know, I have a huge faith on, on our two super, super drivers. Suspensions are fundamental systems for a Formula One car uh, with the main purpose to link the wheel and tires and the unsprung masses onto the chassis. Since 2012, Ferrari has been uh, running front and rear pull rod layout, where pull rod does mean to have the rod connecting the tire to the chassis in tension most of the time. The usage of the pull rod layout onto the rear end of the car is uh, quite common in Formula One while Ferrari this year has been the only team running a poor layout in the front. The choice of a poor road or a push road layout is mainly driven by a, a several factors, like aerodynamic characteristic, weight, stiffness, and the height of center of mass of the car. During uh, the race weekends, uh, there are a lot of uh, tuning uh, activities on the car. Main uh, area of work are the tuning of the wheel angles, both camber and uh, toe. Camber is used to play with the grip of both uh, tires and, and also to play with the um, thermal characteristic and to play with the wear pattern, while the toe is uh, mainly used to play with the stability and the reactivity of the, of the car. Other important parameters of tuning are front uh, and rear springs and anti-roll bar. Uh, which essentially are used to influence the roll balance characteristic of the car, so to play with the uh, understeer and oversteer of the car. In case of understeer, uh, it's needed to improve the reactivity of the front and the grip of the front, while in case of an oversteer characteristic, it's important to calm the rear end of the car. Finally, but not, not less important than the, the previous ones, an important area of uh, adjustment of the car is the choice of the front and the rear ride height of the vehicle during the, all the phases of uh, braking, cornering and traction, mainly to achieve the best aerodynamic characteristic of the car in all these phases.